Hi everybody, this is Irina and today we'll learn another common verb in Russian language that'll be to watch or to look. In English these two verbs have a little bit different meaning, but in Russian they don't have it. In Russian these two verbs sound as смотреть. And first we'll look how the verb смотреть changes in present tense. Смотреть. Я смотрю, ты смотришь, мы смотрим, вы смотрите, он смотрит, она смотрит, оно смотрит, они смотрят. So, as you can see, the endings almost always are different. But don't worry about it, because there is a section in Russian grammar that is called verb conjugation, and in the future we'll study all of the groups of Russian verbs. Now, let's continue studying today's verb, and on the next slide you'll see two sentences with the verb смотреть in present tense. Мы смотрим Фильм. Мы смотрим фильм. Они смотрят на нас. Они смотрят на нас. Good. Now let's study the same verb in the past tense. Here you'll see the difference between masculine and feminine forms. If the last letter of a verb is the vowel a, it means that we are dealing with feminine form. If the last letter is a consonant, it's masculine gender. Now, let's look at how the verb смотреть will be changing its ending in the past tense. Я смотрел, я смотрела. Ты смотрел, ты смотрела. Мы Смотрели. Вы смотрели. Он смотрел. Она смотрела. Оно смотрело. Они смотрели. Very good. Now I'll show you two sentences. In the first one you'll see the phrasal verb look after that in Russian sounds as смотреть за. За is a preposition that can be translated in English not only as after, but also as for, behind, on, or, by. Everything depends on the context. Now let's look at our examples. Вы смотрели за своими детьми. Вы смотрели за своими детьми. Он смотрел вдаль. Он смотрел вдаль. Good. And the last tense that we have is the future tense. Let's look how the verb смотреть will change here. Я буду смотреть ты будешь смотреть мы будем смотреть вы будете смотреть он будет смотреть она будет смотреть оно Будет смотреть. Они будут смотреть. As you can see, the future tense consists of two verbs and only the first one changes. 
It is the verb to be that we have studied already. The second verb смотреть doesn't change, we just use its infinitive form. Now the examples. Она будет смотреть телевизор. Она будет смотреть телевизор. Я буду смотреть на игру. Я буду смотреть на игру. Good job, guys! I hope everything was clear. And another interesting thing that I wanted to tell you is about Russian prefixes. Many verbs in Russian language have different prefixes, and depending on that, the meaning of the word may change. Sometimes it changes a lot, sometimes not, but it's important to know that. So, what happens with the verb ending if we add a prefix to this verb? Let's take, for example, today's verb смотреть. We can add the prefix по to it and the whole word will sound as посмотреть. Or let's add the prefix про. Now the word will sound like просмотреть. The endings in each tense will be the same as they are in the verb смотреть, okay? And in English, such verbs with prefixes are usually translated as phrasal verbs. For example, the verb посмотреть means look or look over, and the verb просмотреть means look through. I'm saying this just to give you an idea about how the verb prefixes in Russian language correspond to the verbs in English, okay? Смотреть, посмотреть, просмотреть. And that's it for today. Please keep studying. Don't forget to ask me everything you have a doubt about and subscribe to my channel. I'd be glad to see everybody here watching my classes. Have a great day, guys. See you soon.